Time now for the morning stir and that new benefit for working women sparking quite a debate. Tech giants Apple and Facebook say they will foot the bill for employees who want to freeze their eggs. But not everyone thinks this is such a good idea. ABC's Mara Scavacampo is here with that story for us. Good morning, Mara. Good morning, guys. As you might imagine, freezing your eggs is not cheap. So this benefit is being hailed as a major perk. But critics argue it encourages women to put off having kids so they can get ahead professionally. This morning, a heated debate over frozen eggs. Tech giants Facebook and Apple confirming they will pay for female employees to freeze their eggs. Facebook has already started, and Apple will begin in the new year, making them some of the first and biggest companies to cover costs for that fertility treatment, which can run upwards of $10,000, plus $500 a year for egg storage. Apple says it will cover up to $20,000 of that, telling ABC News, we want to empower women at Apple to do the best work of their lives. It's the kind of benefit some working women, like Ty Beauchamp, would love to have. I was 35 at the time. I knew I wasn't getting any younger. Last year, the 36-year-old style expert paid out of pocket to freeze her eggs after realizing her professional success had delayed her dream of starting a family, as she told Essence magazine. I know at some point I want to have my own biological children as well as adopt. But the news is also igniting a debate about whether these companies are sending the message that work comes first and family can wait. One Twitter user writing, talk about generous policies. But another saying, why not just accept that women want children and need time off? Still, experts say it could be a way to get more women to enter male-dominated fields like technology. I think it's just part of a larger benefit package, encouraging women to come to these companies. Both companies say they also cover things like adoption costs and in vitro fertilization, and that this is just one more option. So they're saying this is about freedom. Right, options like that. But it seems that like your formative years in your career are also the prime years to have children. Yeah, so, that's, that's the great paradox right. for women is that the, the years that your career is taking off in many cases are also your childbearing years. So critics are saying, does this give women in their childbearing years an excuse to put off having children? Hmm. Does it encourage them to put off having children and say, I can just do that? later. That's the question a lot of people are asking today. And it would, a personal choice. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something that the individual has to think for themselves and their family. Yeah. But freezing the eggs, it does really matter what age you do it. It's Absolutely. better younger. Yeah. Fertility doctors say that it's the age of the egg that's most important, not of the mother. So if you know that you want to freeze your eggs, they say do it as soon mm. as you've made that decision, even if you're in your 20s, because the younger eggs will be uh, more viable later down the road. Well, this is getting a lot of attention. Thanks it for, really is. Yeah, it's a, a fascinating topic. Yeah. Really interesting debate. It is. All right, Mara, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Robin.